Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician. Today I'm going to tell you how to solve a system of equations by using the graphing approach. So if you have a system of equations like y equals 2x uh, plus 1 and you've got y equals 4x minus 2. Okay, you want to graph each line separately. So the lines are already in y equals mx plus b form which makes it a little bit easier. So we're going to draw our y-axis, and we're going to draw our x-axis, and we're going to graph our first line. So you know that to graph this line, you need to look at the y-intercept first, which is 1. So I'm going to go to the number 1. And from this point 1, I'm going to go ahead and use my slope, which is 2 over 1. So I'm going to rise 2, run 1 to get to the next point on my graph. Rise 2, run 1, OK? And then this is going to be a rough sketch of what that line is going to look like. Okay, so that's my first line. And whenever you're graphing a system, you want to write the equation of the line along it, just so you don't get confused. So that's y equals 2x plus 1. Now let's do y equals 4x minus 2. My y-intercept here is negative 2. So I'm going to start at negative 2. And now my slope is 4. So I can rewrite that as 4 over 1, right? So it's rising 4, running 1. So from this point, I'm going to go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1. I'm going to go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1, okay? And I'm going to connect those three points to get my line. And now without graph paper, this is a really rough sketch, but what you need to know is that this point right here is my intersection, and that is the solution of the system of equations. So when you have graph paper and you can tell exactly what point that is, that would be your solution. So you solve the system of equations by graphing, by graphing each line separately, looking for their point of intersection, and that would be my solution. So this is approximately one on the x-axis and one, two, three. So it's going to be somewhere around, but not exactly one, three. But when you have graph paper, you'll be able to see it precisely. So graph each line, look for the intersection, and that is your solution to your system.